She started as America's sweetheart before becoming its vixen. She's even been called courageous and crazy. But why has America both loved and hated Britney Spears? Well, there's a new book that looks to answer that very question. Please welcome to the show the author of Being Britney, Jennifer Otter Biker. Hey! Yeah. So I'm a Britney fan, so I got to get right to this. Now, as you did your research for this biography, you know, I, I really am. I'm a big fan. Uh, what were, like, the shocking things that you found out about Britney? Because I'm sure you were pretty well-versed going in. I mean, yeah, I mean, fantastic that you are admitting. Like, one of the things I found out is that a lot of people were embarrassed and had shame about being a fan of Britney, which, to me, I was like, really? Like, but it does make sense. And in terms of Britney, I think that is one of the reasons we've rallied so much around her is because she is both seen as an outsider, even though she's this massive, huge pop figure. I mean, she's one of the best selling, best selling artists of all time. And yet people still see her as this outcast on the perimeters in a lot of ways. So that I found really interesting. And, and I was surprised to think of her in that way because I never thought of her that way. Something else that really surprised me, and you might think this sounds strange, we came to know Britney as a singer, but I've completely forgotten that she sings. Now, I know that sounds obvious again, but if you think about some of the best Britney songs, like Piece of Me or, or Work, those songs, she's so produced, and I got to hear a version of her singing You Ought to Know. It's a cover she does, uh, the Alanis Morissette song. There's no fireworks, there's no dancers, it's just Britney. And I was blown away. I'm like, oh my goodness, this girl has a voice. And as much of that may not sound surprising, that's why she got into it in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons we fell know with her in the first place. And I think that's something we've really forgotten. Yeah. Great. So you've only met Britney once, back in the 2000s during a meet and greet. Mm -hmm. So people probably will mm -hmm. ask you, how can you create a, a proper portrait of her without knowing her personally, like one-on-one? -on -one? That is such a good question. And I think that all of us feel like we know Britney to some degree. And what I mean by that, she's been woven into the material of American culture in so many ways. And the way that I wrote my book is using different things that we know about Britney and the timeline of Britney's life, but showing how Britney both creates and reflects. She's almost a mirror to American culture and values in so many ways. Mm. And the deeper I got into it, the more I'm like, okay, well, it starts here with this Britney thing. And then it goes here and it goes here and it goes here. And just as you guys are talking about connecting the dots in your life, I mean, everything that happens in over the last 20 years, it's strange. It's like Britney is there in so many different popular culture moments, whether it be what just happened with Roe versus Wade, whether it's PETA, there's just so many things that she has had an impact on. And I don't think that she's given the credit or people really put her in that context. She's become this fodder for, for you know, like the yellow press in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Jennifer, I'm gonna push back a little bit because we have this conversation about everybody oh. who writes biographies on this show. And I always question yep. it. So we've mm -hmm. never heard the whole story from Britney herself. What do you say to the people mm -hmm. who think that you're cashing in on Britney by writing this? Oh, honey, let me tell you, if you knew how much a writer made, I don't think you'd be asking me that question. That's the answer. Yeah, Jennifer. Uh, but also, and I'm talking to the ladies, because I'm loving the ladies on this, and I love the guys too, but something that- After that, that question, I don't blame you. I just come off writing a book. Yeah, I just, I love all y'all. I just come off writing a book about a woman named Nico, who was in a band called The Velvet Underground. And what I saw from that was the misogyny and the mythology that had been really like had taken over over the years about Nico. I'm like, okay, we think we know Britney. And I'm and I'm like, do we know Britney? And so I literally went to the library, the British, I live in London. So I went to the British library, which sounds so formal and it is. It's like you're walking these hallowed halls and I'm like, I'm here to find books on Britney. <laughs> and there was nothing, no books, hard. It was like only really the Rolling Stone that we really know with the Teletubbies. I'm like, where is the serious, and this is something that, that we didn't say. I'm actually a professor. I have a doctorate in cultural studies, and I'm also a 20-year veteran of the music industry. Wow. So I have all this background experience, and I'm like, here's this woman that has changed and impacted culture so much. How come there's not a serious, thoughtful book that takes her seriously. Yeah. Mm. I was dumbfounded, y'all, that there wasn't anything like that. And that's what I wanted to make. I want there to be something, a document. This is my nerd side coming out. I want there to be a document 
that people could look back on and go, wow, look at all these things that Britney did and how she was a touch point for all these key moments in popular culture. Wow. That is unbelievable. I got to say, I also follow Britney, love Britney. She did a little solo of Hit Me Baby One More Time recently, too, with just her voice in the mm. dark. And it was absolutely stunning, her voice. I thought it was shocking. I think this is a vacuum that no one's got to, and you got there first. I also oh. think she really has an enormous amount to say about America and their impact on pop culture, both in her singing and her conservatorship. Sorry, I'm really excited to read it. <laughs> Being Britney, we have it right well, here. You're going to enjoy coffee sometime. Yes. You're going to eat coffee sometime. Time. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I really do think she's completely misunderstood. I can't wait to read this. Mm -hmm. Anywhere books are sold. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining DBL today and for giving some respect on a name I think that should be given.